Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Leupold's Dream Season Live. On this week's show, we're going to meet up with Brody Hatcher and Tyler Arnold in northern Missouri. Both of these guys were fortunate enough to wrap their tags around two giant target bucks. I'm in here today hunting a pinch point leading to a standing cornfield, hoping to get a look at a buck that we call Five Head Sun. I've got Reconic's pictures of him, but haven't seen him on the hoof yet. It's phase 10, the deer are starting to move into a feeding pattern. Um, so the season's getting pretty late, but there's still plenty of time to fill that tag. So I'm gonna get quiet. It's getting about that time for deer to start moving. And as always, we thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy the show. And I just start putting a bunch of cameras out, moving cameras around. That deer that I shot with my bow has showed back up in here after that deer that I shot with my bow. We had history of him last year, had encounters of him last year. You got him. Look at that, boy. This thing is a giant eight point. Woo, baby! Oh, yes. Hey there, I'm Brody Hatcher and it is Tyler and I's first season with Jury Outdoors and we both was very fortunate enough to fill both of our rifle tags during Missouri rifle season. Jumping back to the 2018 season, that's when me and Tyler first started hunting together. Last year in 2020, Tyler, he'd actually killed a big deer early off and I'd actually caught up with a deer that we called splits. And while I was chasing splits, we actually encountered a young eight pointer that we soon to be three and a half, four and a half year old. And I had multiple encounters with him, and we just decided that we, you know, we needed to give him another year. And it's a good thing that we did, because this deer, he just blew up into a giant of an eight-pointer. And Tyler actually catches up with this deer this season during the rifle season. So you're gonna see that here in just a little bit. So here it is, 2021. Tyler and I, we both have high hopes. Jumping into the summer of 21, our main focus was to get cameras out and get inventory. We needed to move a couple stands, and food plots. I know that we was gonna put a couple new food plots in. So right before season, I started getting pictures of a big nine pointer at the home farm. Between the end of September and the middle of October, you know, we hunted hard, you know, it's kind of slow there in the slow periods. And we'd actually seen some really good deer, just not the deer that we was after. But there towards the middle of October, I'd started getting pictures of a deer that I didn't have any history of. You know, he just showed up, which happens more times than not. And you know, this deer caught my attention. He'd been daylighting quite a bit, you know, showing up every two to three days. So he went in there on some MRI and hunted a couple times early, but never did see him. So the evening of October 29th, Tyler and I went in there to the home farm and started hunting this deer again. And I told Tyler as we sat there, I said, tonight's gonna be the night that we see this deer because he'd been showing up on cloudy, windy days, and it was a cloudy and windy day.
You got him? Closer, but but what he's account. been doing is he's been going down in here at the bottom of this clover plot and down here at my camera and he's been going down there and I don't know what he's been doing out here so it was one of them things you either take the shot or have a chance of him going down here and just walking off I don't know guys we'll, we'll review the footage and run over to Deercast and uh, see what it says there so well we just got back to the truck and left the arrow down there. Found a little bit of blood. Um, according to deer cast, it's not a lethal shot. We're gonna leave it for tonight and just come back in the morning. Either way, I'm sorry that it wasn't an ethical shot right off the bat, but we go look at the footage, it might be. So we'll keep you guys posted. Probably can holler back at you in the morning or maybe tonight after we look at the footage and get some more opinions on it. So stay tuned. So here it is the next day. I get a couple of buddies around, which I'm very thankful for to help me look for this deer. It's actually the opening day of Missouri youth season. So we leave the bow in the truck and we start tracking this deer. We track him a couple hundred yards and run out of blood. And so the only thing we did from there was grid search and we grid searched for three hours. And unfortunately, you know, we wasn't able to recover this deer, but going back to deer cache track, you know, it's a non-lethal hit. So it's the next day, I go in there to the home farm and I just start putting a bunch of cameras out, moving cameras around. I did everything in my power to just try to get a picture of this deer to tell me that this deer is still alive. So over the next couple, three weeks, me and Tyler, we actually hunt real hard. You know, still haven't got a picture of this deer. And next thing you know, it's Missouri rifle season. So I'm up to bat first here at the rifle season opener and actually go in on this permission farm that I got thinking, you know, we're going here and after this shooter because I still don't have a picture of this deer. And we go in there and hunt, it's slow. We get down midday, go over to our lease where that big eight pointer is on the MRI that we have with him. And we're sitting there in the blind and I look at my cell cam and sure enough, that deer that I shot with my bow shows up in the middle of the food plot at 123 in the afternoon. So I tell Tyler like, hey, let's get down. We'll run over there. There's a ladder stand that we can hunt this CRP because the wind was wrong for that food plot. So we get down, hightail it over there and hunt that evening. Unfortunately though, we didn't see him, but I did get a trail cam picture of him at 5.30 that evening chasing a doe through the food plot. So here it is, Sunday morning. Tyler's up to bat, he's got the gun in hand. We're going in on the lease. We got high hopes on the MRI that we have that he's gonna catch up with this eight pointer that we'd passed last year and end the story on this giant. Sunday, November 14th, the second day of rifle season here in Missouri. Um, I'm finally back up to bat. It's been a couple weeks since I've actually got to hunt. I've been uh, filming Brody since uh, he had a little bit of bad luck on his boat bug. We come over here to our lease. Hopefully one of our shooters that we have on this farm show up for us this morning where I can maybe get a crack at one, but Brody's big deer that he shot back in both seasons, showed back up at 1.30 yesterday in the same plot where he shot at him back in October. So we come over here so we're close and deer cast is great all day today. Um, front finally blowed out. We got high pressure coming in today. So looking forward to a good hunt. We're on a big biologic final forage plot. So fingers crossed that we can get it done today with a boomstick.
see him down there in the woods. He's in the woods? Yeah, to the right. You should yeah, just be able to see yeah, his I see, head. I see. Yeah, that's it. Broke G3 back from last year. He's gonna bed down right there, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, he just bedded down. Well. We got a pretty good eight point down here that I don't know if he just come in and bedded down or if he's been bedded down there for a while and just stood up and we just seen him but I say it's been pretty slow until just now we've seen a couple deer early but we're gonna ride it out here all day um, see what happens with this deer here I think it's that bit brow buck that eight winter from last year keep an eye on him I really think I can kill him right there. He's 280. He's moving. Need him to turn just straight left broadside where he's at. If he stops right there. You got him? Yep. You got him. Rack another one. You hit him. You done for. About <laughs> that, oh boy. 300 yards. Just dumped him. That Winchester bullet put a whopping on him. I'm about 99% sure this is a deer that we passed in the same plot last year and all over this farm. It's a five and a half year old eight. Uh, we call him the bent brow eight. He's got a, one of those brow tines got a little hook or a bend in it but uh i think i'm officially tagged out missouri so the uh the winchester winchester did his job seven mag uh, like i said 300 yards and he only made it about three or four steps so we're fired up <laughs> so we're gonna give him a couple minutes and we'll go down there and see if we can put our hands on him Dude, this thing is a giant eight point. Well, deer cast said it was gonna be great and great it was. We come in here to our lease this morning. Actually, the first time that we've hunted this farm all year. We got in here this morning and around 10 o'clock, this guy stood up down here in the CRP below us, about 300 yards locked down with a doe and ran a few smaller bucks off and we were able to get a shot on him. It's a, a deer we know real well. We passed him all over this farm last year and out of that same blind a couple different times. We were hoping he had, at five and a half, he would kind of blow up into a, a big eight and that's exactly what he did. Um, super excited and blessed to, to be able to do what we do and, and hunt the farms and manage the farms that we get to manage and uh, super, super excited to in my season here in Missouri with a big five and a half year old eight point that we've got a lot of history with. Here's to never missing a day of hunting camp. Because with deer cast, you can take camp with you all season long. Get ahead of your game.
it's a bittersweet moment to actually end the story on such a great deer. You know, this, this deer, we had history of him last year, had encounters of him last year, and you know, no one deserves it more than Tyler. We went in there on MRI and he got the job done. So here we are, it's the next morning. We're going back in there after the deer that I was after. You know, still excited and stoked about how Tyler had killed that eight pointer going in there on that MRI. And, you know, we're going in there with high intentions that we're going to see this deer and I'm going to tag out as well. Well, here we are back in here on the home farm. This ladder stand that we come in here and hunted the other night. Um, in here after that deer that I shot with my bow. Don't know if he's uh, hanging out across the road or, or coming over here. I'd assume that he's probably going back and forth wherever the hot does are. So hopefully we can lay eyes on him here today or within the next few days and we'll be keeping you guys posted. Here's this other one. Ready? Yeah. Ma! Ma! He's down, dude. Down, dude. He is down. Woo, baby. Oh, yes. That's the deer. And he's down. Right there, buddy. Good job. We just ended the story on a giant. Oh, man. We come in here after this deer. We got pictures of him across the road yesterday chasing a doe. Oh. Oh. Woo. Gonna go over here to deer cache track and we'll flip the body around here and I'd say hit him right about there. Looks like old double lung, quarter and away. We already know he's down. So we're gonna work our way down here and get our hands on a Missouri giant, baby. My biggest deer ever, Missouri giant. Let's go. Looks like he crashed right down through here. Right here he is. Right here he is. I'm talking a giant of a deer. A giant. <laughs> what a stud. Well, here we are. We just ended the quest for this deer that I'd been chasing all bow season. He was showing up pretty regular in daylight and we went in there and hunted him a few times. The last time we'd hunted him, I said, this will be the day that we see him because he's been here on cloudy, windy days. And sure enough, he come in there and I'd shot him with my bow. I didn't make the best of shots and, and I want to apologize for that one more time. But uh, sure enough, we got it done this morning. Deer cast said great and we're in here getting it done. It'd be my biggest Missouri deer ever my biggest deer ever at all so i want to thank tyler again for being able to hunt with me here and i want to thank all you guys for following along on this journey I want to wish everybody else the best of luck out there and we're going to get this sucker drug out of here and we're going to be taking him to the taxidermist you know i'm just thankful to be able to redeem myself on this deer and just thankful to finally get this deer on the ground and we need to be ethical about it when we have the chance to harvest them and i messed it up you know there during bow season and i apologize for that again you know i'm just thankful to be able to end the story on this deer i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i want to thank you guys for following along on this journey of tyler and i's and stay tuned for taylor riggins elk hunt he's got an elk hunt coming up here pretty soon and it is action-packed so congrats to him again and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 
Louisville's Dream Season Live. You know, we at Drury Outdoors have had a long-standing relationship with Mossy Oak that spans some 30 plus years. As we've watched Mossy Oak grow, we've watched them allow a lot of their people to connect with the outdoors. And one of the aspects is Mossy Oak Properties, the land brokerage division. You know, we had a unique opportunity to list a parcel of property with uh, Mossy Oak Properties, exactly how they listed it on the corporate side, the wording that they chose, and those listing agents understand rural property. They understand what you're trying to do and really what you believe in and what your passions are. It's good to know that you've got an agent that understands your passion. So if you're buying or if you're selling, uh, check out mossyoakproperties.com and uh, give them a chance because they understand the passion, particularly in the outdoors, the way we, uh, the way we are passionate about the sport of hunting. Uh, by all means, if you haven't checked them out, please do. Go to mossyoakproperties.com. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of Dream Season Live is brought to you by MOTV. For access to all our Jury Outdoors TV shows, head over to the MOTV app today.